what is the cost of the green card lottery? We usually say green card lottery is free. But there are two things which are different. Number one, there is application of the DV lottery. And number two, there is process after winning the DV lottery. The application of green card lottery by itself, the filling of the form itself is free of charge. A hundred percent free of charge. Someone, you can pay someone to help to fill the form, yes. You can pay for the go to the, take the photo, yes. But that doesn't mean that it is for payment. The filling actual in the form there is no any fee. The U.S. government doesn't charge any amount of money for someone to fill that particular form. But once you win, it's not free. So what are the costs? How much money do you need to have to prepare yourself to finish the entire process as the diversity lottery winner? These are the following costs. I'm not going to include the cost like a passport, the cost about your transportation to go to get the birth certificate or go to your school and get the transcript or the certificate. I'm not going to include those ones. I assume you have all those ones. Once you receive what we call the second notification letter, the letter to, for you to go to do the interview, you have four to six weeks to prepare to go to the interview. The first thing you'll be able to do is the medical examination. How much is the medical examination? You don't go to any medical doctor. There are some specific physicians who have contract with the U.S. government in your country to do the medical. Whether you do in Ghana, whether you do in Cameroon, whether you do in Turkey, whether you do in Saudi Arabia, whether you do in Tanzania, the price or the fee is the same the same fee is the same fee in the u.s too the fee in most cases is about 400 us dollar to 450 for adult but for the children it can be to 200 to 300 depending on how many vac vaccines those people have and the record you already so in this situation let's use let's say it is for, uh, 450 that will be the cost for medical 450 then what else there is a visa fee the visa fee is a 330 US dollar the 330 US dollar doesn't matter whether the child is one day old whether you are 50 years old you are all going to pay the same amount Remember the medical you pay to the medical doctor the day you go there. The visa fee you pay by cash at the U.S. Embassy in U.S. dollar when you go to the U.S. Embassy. And that is 330. It makes 780. Once you do the interview, they are going to give you the visa. Once you are given the visa, you have six months to travel. But once they give you the visa, they'll give you a piece of paper. The piece of paper has the link of the USCIS, United States Citizenship and Immigration Services. Those, what we call the, we call the green card fee, is the fee to go to print that actual card. The fee to print that actual card is 220 that is for a person who is a child, the person is older, is just the cost of that fee. It's the cost of that card, I mean. So to print that card is 220. The good thing is, it's your choice to print that card, to ask to pay for that card before, or to pay for that card later is up to you. That amount, it is going to cost you 1,000 US dollar. You take it. 450 medical you are going to add the uh 330 the uh what we call the visa fee and green card fee the actual card printing fee 
it makes 1000 US dollar then it comes to the cost of passport how much is the i mean the cost of a uh, flight ticket so the transportation from your country to the us it depends are you traveling from east africa from west africa from north africa from southern africa are you traveling from asia or are you traveling from from latin america so depending to where you are from most of the flights will be about 1000 us dollar if you go one way but some might be 200 dollar some might be 300 some might be 500 if someone let's say is in costa rica i mean let's say is in haiti or in another country might be closer to the us someone is in cuba whatever it is so it depends on where someone is traveling from so but let's say it is about 1000 this will go to make a total of 2000 us dollar that will be the total of how much is going to cost you so if this is going to be 2000 then that is we are not going to include the money to start the life the money to start the life will depend also on your host what agreement do you have with your host are you going to pay your host and if so how much or are you going to stay there for free then how long are you going to stay there let's say your host is going to allow you to stay there for free for two months so if he's going to stay for two months then you are not going to start the job right away until you get the social security number so usually I tell people you need to have at least the money to start your life whether you are single whether you are married so at least for most of the states if you are not going to new york you're not going to california you're not going to chicago you're not going to hawaii at least you need to have at least three thousand more meaning you can just go and get apartment right away for two more months in advance so for that particular case if you add three more thousand you are going to have five thousand but just if you have up to arrival there and even 500 like 2000 until you arrive in the us then it can depend on you some people can come with 500 life can be able to start 1000 you can be able to start depending on your host depending on how everything is going to start so it depends on extra depending on the host you can be able to arrive and then you are going to get your own apartment yes 3000 will be able to start with if you have the host, the host is nice to allow you to stay there for three months without paying anything. You can go with 1,000 extra in your pocket and you'll be able to start your life. Or you can have 3,000, you can be able to get your car right away and you can be able to start going to work without any particular problem as soon as possible. So those are some of the money you need to have to prepare and to start your life in the United States is the V lottery winner.